schools and the teachers union at odds again over a plan to put high school students back in the classroom. WGN's Patrick Elwood is following this ongoing dispute. Joining us now from Curie, joining us now from Curie High School, I should say, on the southwest side with more. It gets curiouser and curiouser, doesn't it, Patrick? It sure does, to coin a phrase, Micah and Ray. Good evening to you. CTU President Jesse Sharkey says he was taken aback and a bit surprised by the announcement by the district to return to school April 19th. But in a rare move today, district officials putting out emails that it says they say disproves that claim. CPS has identified April 19th for the return to in-class learning hybrid model. That is the first day of the last quarter. To bring parents and students up to speed on what to expect, the district held a virtual information session tonight. We want families to know that um, as this process continues, we'll, we'll be also engaging our most important stakeholders, um, our students. We are right now talking about a hybrid, not a full five days, which is something that, you know, people have asked about and advocated for. We feel strongly that this phase in process has worked and we're going to continue to do that. Um, and then we also wanted people to know that um, it is a collaborative process. In making its announcement, CPS, in conjunction with the mayor, said that, quote, negotiations are on going with CTU and we will continue to provide updates to families as discussions proceed unquote. But CTU President Jesse Sharkey seemed to be taken by surprise and released a statement soon after saying not so fast. This was a unilateral move by CPS and a plan created behind closed doors saying in a letter to union membership quote let me be clear. We have no agreement on returning to in-person learning in high schools on any date, nor will there be an agreement until we know our school buildings can reopen safely, unquote. Sharkey calling it a boilerplate plan with no stakeholder engagement or parent or student input. But according to internal emails obtained by WGN from CPS, not only was Sharkey apprised of the back to school announcement, he helped tweak the language in the district's public declaration of April 19th, that is go time. Suggesting in an email to Caitlin Garrard, the district's labor relations officer, quote, couple of things. I'd change, we have also centered on the goal with we hope to or something along that line, unquote. He goes on to suggest adding that, quote, negotiations are not finalized yet or some other indicator that this process hasn't concluded and this setup isn't carved in stone, unquote. A high-ranking CPS source telling me today all of this could be attributed to internal division and a pushback in the union ranks. But a union spokesman says it stands by the official position by Sharkey put out last night. There is no internal strife within the ranks and that CTU needs an actual agreement in writing before we agree to a return. All of which has left school CEO Janice Jackson today a bit perplexed. With regard to the tension, I was confused by that. Um, you know, we shared the letter that we sent out to parents with Jesse Sharkey personally. He provided edits to the letter. And so I was confused with the back and forth. But as I stated earlier, I'm committed to not engaging in any performative acts that distract us from doing what's important, which is getting our kids back in school. Okay, all of that said, another issue that the union has, uh, it says that CPS is not sharing any COVID-19 related data that's been going on taking place at schools across the district. Reporting from Curry High School tonight, Patrick Elwood, WGN News. Back to you guys in the studio. Thank you, Patrick. States making progress.